Hi everyone. We were studying lesson number six, that is birds and their bodies. In the previous session, we discuss about birds. How do the birds fly? About the feathers. So can you tell me? We have arms or hands. What do the birds have in place of arms? And how do they fly? How do they use it? Yes, they have wings instead of arms. Most of them use their wings to fly. Can all the birds fly? The answer is no. All the birds cannot fly. Can you name few birds which cannot fly? The birds such as ostrich, emu, kiwi cannot fly. Now tell me why can the birds fly? We have already discussed that the birds bones are hollow. They are very thin. Hollow means empty from inside. Because of it they can fly easily and their body becomes light. Also the shape of the body what is it look like? The, their shape of the body is it is narrow in the front and at the end and it is broad in the middle. That is the reason birds can fly easily. Now how exactly do they fly? We have already discussed that they jump in the air and flap their wings up and down and tell me how do they change the direction? Yes, they use their tail to change the direction and to stop they spread out their wings. So, what are feathers now? We have already discussed that bird's body is throughout covered with feathers. Feathers help the bird to fly. They have oil like coating on the feathers. They keep the bird dry. It is like wearing a raincoat. Yes. Now, how many types of feathers are there? Tell me. Yes. Now, take a look at this image. Can you tell me which feather is this? Yes, it's a flight feather. They help the birds to fly. Can you guess which feather is this? Yes, it is a down feather. Down feathers help the bird to keep the body warm. Yes, and the next is body feathers. Why they are why they are used? Yes, body feathers gives birds its shape. Today we are going to discuss more about bird the bird's body. Can you tell me this is the beautiful picture of a of what? Yes, it is a peacock. It is our national bird. Now, we are going to discuss about the bird's beak. What do we have in our body which replaces the beak? Yes, we have mouth and the birds have beak. Mouth of a bird is called beak. Bird's beak is very important part of their body. Beaks are different in size and colors. Now, they use their beaks to build their nest. They also use their beak to clean and smoothen their feathers. With the beak, birds use their beak for building nest. 
they use their beak for feeding their young ones and they use their beak to defending themselves birds cannot bite or chew they do not have teeth by looking at the beak we can tell what the bird eats different birds have different types of beak like some birds have long thin beak some birds have strong curved beak then some birds have long pointed beak some birds have strong pointed beak then some birds have sharp pointed beak and some birds have broad flat beak and some birds have strong sharp hooked like beak you can see here different types of beaks in this way from the name we can understand about how does the birds beak looks now can you identify which bird is this yes this is the picture of a hummingbird can you see the beak the long thin beak it helps to suck the nectar doesn't it look like a straw as we drink juice with the help of a straw in the same way hummingbirds sucks nectar with the help of its long thin beak now have a look at this picture can you guess which bird is this yes this is the picture of a parrot the parrots have strong curved beak which help them to crack open fruits and nuts curved beak help them to eat yes now tell me student which bird is this yes this is the picture of a sparrow the birds like sparrow pigeon peacock have short pointed beak now the birds like sparrow pigeon and peacock they have short pointed beak this kind of beak help to pick up seeds and worms and also help to crush the seeds yes now the long pointed beak of a heron can you see the beak yes of course it is long enough it is used to pick a fish from the water yes herons have long pointed beak you can see the beak yes it is very long it is used to pick a fish from the water a heron catches fish with its long pointed beak pick beak and lifts it out of the water now the next is a sharp pointed beak of the woodpecker this is a picture of a woodpecker bird the birds like woodpecker have sharp pointed beak the birds like woodpecker they have sh sharp pointed beak it taps the bark of the tree with its 
sharp pointed beak it act like a chisel to remove the bark and find out insects see again i am telling you student woodpecker taps the bark of a tree with its sharp pointed beak it makes a hole in the bark of the tree and pulls out insects to eat yes now this is the picture of a duck now tell me which kind of beak is that yes a duck has a broad flat beak it scoop up muddy water with it the mud and the water flows out through holes on the sides the duck then eats the small plants and insects are left behind in the beak see again i am telling a duck has a broad flat beak it scoop up muddy water with it the mud and the water flows out through holes on the side the duck then eats the small plants and insects left behind in the beak yes this is the picture of an eagle eagles vultures and owls eat the flesh of the animals they have strong sharp hooked beak for tearing flesh now let's discuss question and their answer based on it question number 1 choose the correct answer in that first one all the birds can fly and the options are true or false you have to understand that or you have to tell that this statement is true or false you have to choose the right answer all birds can fly true or false yes this is false statement so i am putting a tick on the false question number 2 a beak is the tail of a bird the beak is the tail of the of a bird true or false yes this statement is false statement the beak is the mouth of a bird this is the right statement question number 3 the beak of a duck helps it to catch insects on the ground true or false this statement is a false statement because the beak of the duck helps it to catch insects in the water question number 4 a humming bird drinks nectar with its long thin beak true or false again i am reading a humming bird drinks nectar with its long thin beak yes and the options are true or false so this statement is true so i am putting a tick on the true that is option a now question number 5 eagle have short pointed beak options are true or false eagles have short pointed beak this statement is false so i am putting a tick on the false because eagles have sharp hooked like beak yes question number 6 what kind of beak does a woodpecker have options are long curved beak second option long thin beak third option sharp pointed beak and the fourth option is broad flat beak which option is right children what kind of beak does a woodpecker have 
a woodpecker have sharp pointed beak this is the right answer now question number 7 what kind of beak does a sparrow have and the options are long curved beak second option long thin beak third option short pointed beak and the fourth option is broad flat beak yes the right answer is short pointed beak a sparrow have short pointed beak so i am putting a tick on the option c i hope you understood the concept now in the next science session we will discuss or we will do the revision of lesson number 6 and in that we will see types of feet and claws the birds have thank you